You see it, let's get it. Prepare for Black Ops, cybersecurity for the people. Fighting severe cyber attacks can escalate into real shooting war. Right, so what type of a cyber attack will make us actually put boots on the ground? President Joe Biden warned that cyber attacks leading to severe security breaches could lead to a real shooting war with another major world power. You know, we have seen how cyber threats, including ransomware attacks, increasingly are able to cause damage and disruption to the real world. Biden said during a speech at the National Counterterrorism Center of Office of the Director of National Intelligence. I can't, I can't guarantee this, and you are informed as I am, but I think it's more likely we're going to end up, well, if in a real war, a real shooting war with the major power, it's going to be as a consequence of a cyber breach of great consequence. He named Russia and China as the USA partners and possibly mortal uh, competitors down to the road. Saying working together on the ex ex existential threats such as climate change should prevent the United States from keeping a watchful eye on what ultimate objects of the other team is. During his remarks in front of the intelligent personnel at the Liberty Cross Intelligence Campus, Biden also implied that Russia is already involved in 2020 election disinformation campaign targeting United States citizens getting that information from the internet rather than vetted sources. I think we also need to take on a rampant disinformation that's making it harder and harder for people to access and access the facts and to be able to make decisions. Look what, look what Russia is doing already about the 2020 elections and misinformation. It's a pure violations of, of our sovereignty. Cyber attacks also compared to armed attacks by NATO. These remarks come after NATO statement issued during the mid June uh, said that cyber attacks are comparable to armed attacks in some circumstances. We will affirm that a decision as to when a cyber attack will lead to an invocation of Article 5 will be taken to the North Atlantic Council on a case by case basis, the NATO uh, commander said. Allies recognize that the impact of significant malicious cumulative Cyber activities might, in certain circumstances, be considered a mounting of an armed attack. During the last two months, the U.S. dealt with what seamlessly an endless wave of attacks impacting organizations worldwide and increasingly hit United States critical infrastructure. In June, following the uh, Colonial Pipeline, it was JBS ransomware of the food attack. Deputy uh, National Secretary Ann Newberg warned of United States businesses to take ransomware seriously. Early this month, President Biden asked Russia and President Putin during a phone call to disrupt ransomware groups operating from Russian territory, saying that the U.S. will take any necessary action required to defend people and critical infrastructure from these attacks. The White House Secretary Gene Pelosi also said the United States will take action against ransomware groups operating within Russian borders if the Russian government cannot or will not handle it. Russian also asked the G7 leaders last month to urge to disrupt Russian-based ransomware gangs at the stream of attacks targeting organizations from critical sector worldwide. So the question is, what cyber attacks is going to make us put, put boots on the ground? And you know what's coming. Professor Black Ops, cybersecurity for the people. Please subscribe.